Jacoby, you've been uh, named a champion. I think it's four weeks in a row, three weeks in a row. Um, what's been the biggest difference in your play now as opposed to the start of the year? Um, I don't know if it's anything specifically. I just think, you know, at offense line it takes, you know, a couple weeks to, or, you know, time to get things going, you know, no matter, you know, we do everything at camp. And, you know, honestly, it's, you know, at offense line, you – play well because other guys next to you are playing well too you know so when we're all playing well together you know we all build off of each other you know which is a great thing so and I think it's I think all we have you know pretty much everyone grayed out a champion this last week and like I said just something that once we all get going downhill you know we kind of feed off each other you know we're basically brothers in there you know we're a double with our double teams and everything else so um, like I said, I think it's just something that takes a while for a line to gel and you know kind of get going. And is it easier to get that role going when you have four returning starters? I mean, you're like this. Yeah, you know, I mean, I would say it's a little bit easier, but you know, it still took us. Like I said, I mean, last week I would say was our first week where we went out there, you know, and really dominated up front, and you know, it was week seven of the season. So I mean, I guess it's a little bit easier, but it's always a process. Jacoby on, on Monday, Taylor was talking about people expect what happened in the last three games of last year to happen all the time, and that's not realistic. You know, have you felt like you guys are held to too high of a standard this year when people say, what's wrong with Ohio State? I mean, you're 7-0. and and Yeah, I mean, I mean, we're, you know, it comes with, uh, I guess, what we did last year. You know, everyone expects us to be the number one team in the nation, and, you know, we have high expectations of ourselves, but, and, you know, when it all comes down, you know, in the end, it's not about what everybody on the outside out on the outside says. It's you know what we're doing in the building, and basically, if we can get better every week, we'll be where we need to be at the end of the season. Do you see any difference in JT this week if he's the starter? Um, no. I mean, JT's kind of a different guy. You know, he's not many like him. Um, you know, he kind of whether he's first string, second team, he has the same approach. Um, you know, he goes out there every day, tries to do the best he can, and tries to better himself. So, I mean, I think he's kind of, uh, like I said, there's not many guys out there like JT, but I don't think there's really too much of a difference. He's preparing this week like he has all year. Has both What's guys responded well since they made the move? I'm sorry, what did you say? Do you think both guys have responded well then since they made the move? Yeah, and yeah, I mean, like I said. Can you I mean, tell there's a, you know. Yeah, no, I mean, it just, you know, like I said, every – I think everybody's goal on this team, you know, is every day in practice go out there and get better. And I think that's, like I said, that's what their goal is, and that's what they're going to do every day. How close have you guys? You talk about the standard on the inside is what you guys are worried about in, in inside the building. What game have y'all come close to that standard this year so far, Jacoby, to matching um, that standard? You know, I don't know. I think the first game, you know, Virginia Tech, we put together a good game, and then it kind of you know, fell off a little bit after there. And, you know, I think this past week was, you know, a good, a good start to it. You know, I mean, I know the defense, um, you know, they give up a couple of big plays, but they're playing, you know, their butts off out there. You know, mm -hmm. they're, they're playing hard. You know, on the offense, we can do a lot of things better, you know, but we're starting to get a little, a little momentum there. And if we can, um, you know, do a great job offense, defense, and special teams, we'll feed off each other and have a great year. Was there a certain chemistry that you noticed when JT went in last week it, i mean obviously it kind of neutralized with a little bit what they were doing up front to you guys but you guys up front had a sort of a great game with him in there and stuff what what is it that jt brings that causes defenses obviously it's the running threat but i'm just asking you from your vantage point uh, yeah. what is it that kind of changes the way the defenses come after you um you know i mean i don't know if it's the you know the running threat like you said i mean up front we just kind of do or you know what we can do we go out there every play and just try to move guys off the ball um you know i think yeah i think if you're looking at broader s spectrum when your defense you know jt maybe is a little bit faster so you have to count for that so i'm guessing you know that's part of it yeah when you look at this defense y'all are going against on saturday night rutgers they seem to be pretty good against the run statistically and stuff what stands out about them there they've given a lot of passing yards but what just stands out about them in your mind um, you know, they have a lot of really good fundamentals. Those guys up front, you know, they play hard. And, you know, like I said, they, they have a specific job that they do, and they do it really well. And, like I said, they don't they don't really make many mistakes. You know, just sound football, and they work really hard. So there's a lot to say about that. <laughs> Would you consider them kind of a, a higher risk defense? I mean, they've gotten in the backfield a lot, but they've also given up some points. Are they that kind of a group that can make some big plays but also maybe give up some big plays? Yeah, I mean, I think that kind of comes with – 
um, any team, you know, when you're blitzing, you know, you're a little vulnerable in the secondary. So, I mean, you know, they have a couple, you know, pretty uh, blitzes, you know, where they're bringing a lot of guys and, you know, it's just kind of part of the game. Uh, you're a little more vulnerable in the back end, so. Jacoby Taylor said that one of the things that was remarkable to him is that this team has unified behind whoever Urban has thrown out there as, as a quarterback. What does it say about you guys that you have done that? Um, you know, I just think that basically the guys that have been here, you know, all four, three, two years, you know, it's just kind of part of the culture that, you know, they've um, kind of instilled in us. And, um, you know, no matter who's out there, you know, we're going to play hard. We don't play hard for, you know, one specific person. We play hard for the guys next to us, no matter who it is. And, you know, we're going to go out there and, um, you know, put it all out on the line, no matter who's back there, no matter who's at wide receiver, who's at O-line, who's at running back, who's a quarterback, you know, it honestly doesn't matter. We're going to go out there and, you know, do it for the guys, uh, you know, no matter who it is on the team, so. Are you interested in looking around and seeing anything on this trip? Y'all never played at Rutgers, Ohio State's never played at Rutgers. Uh, it's where the first football game was ever played and college football game was ever played in history. Are you interested in seeing anything or are you just interested in going to the stadium and playing? Um, I mean, I, you, I, didn't, I didn't know that fact. You kind of yeah. threw me off there. So. They didn't play actually at High Point Stadium. But so. Yeah. So. Oh, they didn't play it. Yeah, this is, <laughs> but, this is 150 years ago. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't, you threw me off with that stat, so I guess uh, – I don't know. I mean, for me personally, I don't really pay attention to too much stuff when we go on a road trip or even when we're home. Um, it's, you know, it's a business trip. There's really uh, not too much outside of that. Just go out there, perform well, win the game, and head back home. So you, You've been around for four years now, though. What is the secret to killing time on the road for a night game? Um, I don't know. The coaches do a great job, you know, with the schedule we have and just something that Which, we're used give, to. Give me an example of that. Which is what? Like, y'all get up at what, what time? I mean, what? Yeah, I don't know. We get up usually around, like, 9, I think, on um, night games. I mean, you get to sleep in, get get some good sleep. And, yeah. um, you know, basically we'll just have meetings and basically just spending time with the guys, have a little bit of time up in the room. And, I don't know, just something that we've done for many years and it's something that, you know, all the guys like and, we do well with so is there a nap in in the middle there or, or a time like that <laughs> yeah. y'all can go yeah, yeah 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 we get a little nap time too yeah. so